Hi, this is Udi Tirosh from DIYPhotography.net and today I want to talk about 5 reasons to move to Samsung's T3 SSD and 799 reasons to wait a bit. So we got the Samsung T3 SSD drive for review and can honestly say that I have never been thrilled with a hard drive like I've been with this one. I mean, hard drives? Boring. But when you transfer a lot of video files from place to place, having a speedy drive can really make things easy for you. First, why do you even need an external drive for doing videos? Well. I use a drive in two instances. The first one is when we get done shooting on location, I always unload the cards twice, once to a laptop and another time to an external drive. This provides backup until we get back to the studio to unload. This way, even if my laptop dies in the way, I still have a usable copy of the file. The other big thing is getting files to someone else. We have had projects of over 100 gigabytes to be transferred and just moving the files to an external drive can be a drag. So here are my five reasons for why I love the Samsung T3 SSD. Number one, it's fast, like blazing fast. Our latest project, which was about 27 gigs, took about three minutes to move to the drive. That's over 150 gigabytes per second or a gig in about seven seconds. Our old Transcend drive, for example, took over six minutes for the same task. On the read side, we got about 400 megabytes per second on medium files and about 100 megas per second on big transfers. 400 was awesome. 100, we got out of our spinnable drive as well. Number two, it's small. How small? Well, here's my credit card or rather my coffee card. And as you can see, it's like four or five cards stacked together. Here's our Transcend external drive. You can fit like three or four T3s in one of those. If you need six or seven drives, the weight and size really adds up. Number three, it's USB type three. Well, you need to get a whole new bunch of cables, but on the good side, the plug is reversible. Yay! Number four, it is shock resistant. Now, Samsung doesn't say how shock resistant it is, but considering it only weighs 51 grams and has no moving parts, I guess it would have to take quite a hit to die. Or, you can get some bands around it like I do. So you go like this. Number five, it's the biggest SSD you can probably get. I mean, it's even bigger than most internal SSDs. So will we be converting our entire drive fleet to T3s? Mm, not just yet. And only for one reason, or actually 799 reason. So the one terabyte version of the T3 is currently $799. Converting all six of our two terabyte drives will be about $10,000. So we, we will wait. My first USB drive was half a gig at about $50. And now you can get 32 gigs for less than $10. I would think that external SSD will go in the same route. So to conclude, I would probably get one of those if I was transferring massive video files, but would wait with a full conversion until price was lower. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you around.